I'm Sister Nella Sammons from Tornado Apostolic Church, Tornado, West Virginia. I have a devotion for you this morning entitled, I Know Who Holds Tomorrow, Part 1. Many questions are being asked. What will happen to the world's economy? And this, is this the beginning of the end? Is this World War III? What about germ, gas, and nuclear war? Was this God's judgment on this nation? Why did God allow this to happen? The many questions that are being asked. When Reverend Billy Graham addressed the world, he answered these questions by saying, I don't know, but I accept by faith that God is a God of love, mercy, and compassion, even in times of suffering and darkness. Today we can stand and say with assurance that no matter what calamities may take place, no matter what befalls this nation, God has not abdicated his throne. He is in control. He will bring about his perfect will upon this nation, this people, and his church, this church. May we look upon this as not necessarily God's judgment upon this nation, but that what Satan has meant for evil, God will take and use for his glory as he sends out a threefold call for us to return to him. One is a call of repent remembrance. God is still God. He has not changed his name to I was, I used to be. He is still the I am. He is still alive. He is still blessing, he is still freeing, he is still healing, he is still redeeming, he is still God of heaven and earth. He has not lost one ounce of his power or his strength. Deuteronomy 4.39 says, Know therefore this day, and consider it in thine heart, that the Lord, he is God in heaven above, and upon the earth beneath there is none else. The power displayed at creation is still available at his disposal. The power displayed at the Red Sea is still available. The power displayed by the Old Testament prophets is still available. The power displayed at Lazarus' tomb is still available. The power displayed at the upper room is still available. The power displayed in the prison cell of Paul and Silas is still available. The people of this nation need God. This country was formed on the principles of Almighty God. That God is the source of our strength, not our military might, not any coalitions or foreign policies. It is God that has blessed this nation. God is our refuge and our strength. That it is God's blessings on this nation that has made her the greatest country on this earth he has blessed her with protection for more than 200 years he's blessed her with prosperity he's blessed her with power he's made this nation the desire of the whole world so in psalms 1 18 and 8 it is better to trust in the lord than to put confidence in man and 1 18 and 9 it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. That God has taken care of this nation in the past during their Revolutionary War, War of 1812, Civil War, Depression, World War One and Two, Korea, Vietnam, Gulf War, assassinations of leaders, Cold War, natural disasters. In Hebrews 13 and 5, he, for he hath said, I will never leave thee, nor forsake thee. He has always been there for us. And that's all I have for today, but tomorrow I will go into part two of I Know Who Holds Tomorrow. God bless your day. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen.